אמבסדור סבי, שלום. שלום. And welcome to Culture Bus. תודה רבה. אמבסדור, you are here in your capacity as uh, the ambassador of Norway in Israel. It's your second tenure, mm-hmm. which means you might know us better than we know ourselves. Not to mention our neighbors. Probably, probably not right, but okay. which will make this conversation even more interesting. But you said it would not be political. N- not at all. Not at all. We are here to discuss the efforts of your embassy under your leadership in the field of culture, trying to build a cultural bridge between two people who are so similar and so different. So, Ambassador, the floor is yours. Well, first of all, I'm not the first ambassador who wants to work on the cultural issues, but there has been a slight change in the sense that uh, we, the embassy has been reinforced by uh, a secretary of embassy who is working almost exclusively on cultural issues, and we have a budget, which means it's possible for us to bring people from Norway to find ways of cooperating with Israeli organizations, institutions, and so far I must say it's been... quite successful. I said in the, in the opening that you know us and I wanted to ask you, do you have favorites when it comes to Israeli culture? You mean in terms of literature? Literature, uh, guess film, the, dance? Yeah, well dance, I, my, during my last stay here, not as ambassador but as minister counselor, Um, I went to see, you know, I mean, uh, uh, but Sheva, a dance company, was, I, I remember to be something I went several times to see. And I know they have toured Europe, and they've been to Norway also. Among the authors, I mean, you would, you would um, not be surprised when I say Amazons and David Grossman and Meir Shalev, not the least uh, Meir Shalev, uh, had read his book, books recently, some of them, and then they're... They really are, are quite touching. Ambassador, would you be kind enough to mention uh, one or two uh, main projects that the embassy under your leadership is involved in when it comes to enhancing the cultural dialogue between our two countries? First of all, the, we are not, uh, let's say, arranging our own project as such. We cooperate with these Israeli institutions. And, and we'd recently had a, a film festival that was well visited by people both in uh, Jerusalem, Tel Aviv and Haifa. And a wonderful one, if I may say so myself. Well, I'm glad you liked it. And I, I, uh, I, I was also, you know, I, had, I hadn't seen all the films and I, I, I was quite uh, touched by, by some of them, I must say. Uh, there has been a... an increased that's quality of, of Norwegian films in the last few years. This is kind of a uh, renaissance, if you like, uh, which has made Norwegian films more accessible to the world. And um, also they're participating in certain competitions and we were very happy to be able to bring them here. Mm-hmm. Also, we have had some uh, cooperation on, on you know, book fair tours that we have authors coming here. Um, so we, we try to work in, in our, let's say, modest project, but we try to, to make sure that Norwegians come here, pick up things, learn, go back. And we are also willing to, to have uh, you know, reciprocal ideas of, of exchanging uh, artists, exchange of, of um, cultural personalities, if that's possible. So. Wonderful. And we do remember your... Uh, moon illustrations at the Tel Aviv Museum? Yes, that was also modest, but well, and we were surprised at the number of monk uh, prints that were accessible to, to us. And we hope actually to make some more related to monk. There's a, there's a celebration coming up next year, but um, there's a lot of uh, requests to the monk museum in Oslo to bring his works yeah. to the world, but we'll see what we can do. Heterogeneous, heterogeneous. Uh, we have uh, discussed before this interview the fact that during the last five or six or seven years the number of Norwegian books translated to Hebrew has been uh, steadily increased. That's true and, and some of them would 
probably be selling without any, let's say, push by, uh, by Norwegian institutions like the embassy, like UNESPO and so on. But there are some, I mean, sometimes you don't need so... They're good authors, first of all. They have to be of quality for, for these really publishing houses to accept them. But there may be extra costs, like a translation, like push a little bit here, a little bit there. We have a Norwegian institution called Nordla. Uh, uh, trying to promote Norwegian literature in, around the world, and then we have our funds, so it's possible to, to let's say, uh, to make some books more easily accessible to um, to, to uh, publishing houses that are looking also at the commercial side of things. Mm. Ambassador, you are in charge of an embassy that uh, deals with so many aspects of life. Of life. How important is culture? in what you are doing? I think it's increasingly important because, um, um, well, you know the political situation has been complicated. I promise um, not to speak about I, well, politics. I, well, you know, there's a few things that happened in the, the, in the, the bilateral relations over the years. Uh, from being a country that was considered in Israel to be 100% friendly, there was some criticism of certain aspects of Israeli policy. We don't go into that. But there's been this feeling, maybe in Israel, that Norway, Norwegians are very, very, very critical. Yes, there are, there are some points of criticism. But generally speaking, there's a lot of interest in Israel. And, and when you speak about boycott, this government has been very clear. We are against any boycott of Israel. And culture and the cultural uh, cooperation is a way of, of let's say, making that point and stressing it and really working against uh, any kind of boycott. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, you know, cultural and academic as such. And if you had to describe, Ambassador, the potential of the cultural dialogue between Norway and Israel, how would you describe it? I think it's got absolutely potential, and we see it. It's not difficult to bring Norwegians here. Um, I'm, I'm being asked, I'm being very open um, by, uh, by some Israeli diplomats who have served in Norway, that could we do the same there? And I said, well, it might be more difficult, but it's certainly possible, and we would certainly try to assist in, the, in the doing this on a reciprocal uh, basis. And it's definitely a challenge that uh, is worth all the efforts. Ambassador, what can we wish you and your embassy and your cultural activities? Mm, well, mm, peace? Always. So Thank you. we wish you that and much more. Ambassador Sevi, to, to Zuntak and Shalom. Tout